There are some things, despite science's best efforts to understand, they remain shrouded in mystery. We know that ancient civilization had skills and knowledge we cannot comprehend today, but until we find more clues about their lives, we'll never really know how they achieved many of their miracles. Some scientists believe that we are missing some past elements, including various technological discoveries that we don't possess or replicate. This video will present 20 of the most mysterious ancient technologies that baffle scientists. The last one on the list will leave you even more confused than you were before. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you are notified the next time we upload a new video. One, the Symphonic Aqueduct at Delicomer. The Symphonic Aqueduct is located in Adana, Turkey, and was constructed during ancient Roman times. This particular aqueduct is believed to have been built in the third century, and it was used until the 10th century. It's one of the most impressive water supply systems ever built. This aqueduct was also rumored to have been used by the military during World War I and II due to its location on a prominent hilltop. One of its major problems was water pressure, which wasn't that great, making the water lose some of its force before reaching its destination. Today, it's one of the biggest tourist attractions in Turkey and is also listed as a World Heritage Site. 2. The Colosseum According to historians, the ancient Romans were highly skilled in construction and architecture. It isn't easy to believe that they built various magnificent structures, including the Colosseum, without steel or reinforced concrete. The fact is that today we can't replicate ancient Roman concrete, which is much stronger and more durable than the modern version. Some have suggested they used volcanic ash as an ingredient, while others claim they added some secret ingredient during production, but no one knows for sure what it is. But a theory has been proposed that during the construction of the Colosseum, the Romans used volcanic ash as an explosive material. In 1927, archaeologists found a chunk of volcanic ash in a Roman quarry in Rome. The site is said to have been used by the ancient Romans to excavate building materials such as sandstone and lava. In 1933, some archaeologists discovered another piece of volcanic ash in Pompeii. This time, they believed it was used to manufacture concrete or mortar for its construction. If you take a closer look at the statue, you'll notice that it doesn't have any cracks or fractures on its surface. This is because the ancient Romans used volcanic ash as an ingredient for concrete, which is why it has such a solid and durable property. Archaeologists have found similar findings in other ancient Roman cities, such as Alexandria, which suggests that the technology was widely used in building projects across the empire. But how this was done remains to be an eternal question among scientists. 3. The Maiden Tower in Baku One of the most curious structures in the world, the Maiden Tower, is a monument to a lost civilization that lived in Azerbaijan millions of years ago. Built from large stone blocks and no mortar, this tower was created without understanding how engineering works. The tower is so tall that it can be seen from as far as 100 miles, and its height has long been disputed. Some argue that it was built to be the highest tower in the world, while others say there is no reason for a tower to be made so tall. After all, no one lives in the tower. There was no purpose for it to be built so tall. The ancient structure is believed to have been built around the 6th century BC. Some argue that it was constructed by a civilization known as the Sassanarians and that it was used as a watchtower. But historians understand that the tower didn't serve any practical purpose, so they believe it was created for religious purposes. It is primarily because of the many inscriptions on its walls, including Greek characters. 4. The Sculptured Rocks of Abe Fore these strange rock formations are scattered all over the coast of Brittany in St. Malo, France. Sculptured by centuries of water erosion, these rocks bear strange inscriptions and shapes. The islanders claim that a seafaring civilization left behind bizarre rock shapes in ancient times. The sculptures are said to have been inspired by folklore tales of a pirate family called the Rotnovs, who were fishermen and smugglers of the 15th century. Although most islanders agree about the legendary history of these rocks, many people believe that the truth is far stronger. 5. The Neolithic Monuments of Stonehenge For over a thousand years, the ancient people who created Stonehenge have been the subject of debate and analysis. Stonehenge is considered a British cultural icon, and tourists and pilgrims have visited it for centuries. The stone circles were constructed on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. 
The whole monument, now ruinous, is aligned towards the sunrise on the summer solstice, but the exact reason for this alignment is a mystery. The Neolithic monuments of Stonehenge are not just the subject of thousands of archaeological studies, but have also been the subject of numerous conspiracies and myths. The most well-known theory is that these structures are a part of our giant astronomical calendar, but scientists have yet to find any correlation between the monument's shape and patterns in the sky. Another popular idea is that Stonehenge was a burial site, but archaeologists have found no proof. There are many theories, but the most logical one is based on the earthquake theory. The stones were arranged in a specific pattern because they were believed to be earthquake prediction devices, and not because they worshipped the sun. Stonehenge was built between 3000 BC and 1500 BC. 6. Church of St. George, Lalabella, Ethiopia the town of Lalabella, Ethiopia, has earned the nickname of Ethiopia's Jerusalem because it contains more churches than anywhere else on earth. Lalabella is also unique because each of these churches was carved out of solid rock. The church structure is similar to the Church of St. George in Lalabella, which is considered a national treasure and has been the subject of many pilgrimages for centuries. How the people of Lalabella managed to create these rock churches is a complete mystery. The Church of St. George is famous for its unique architecture, incorporating various elements, including Asian, European, and Coptic styles. Its church facade is made of beautifully carved and painted marble, while the church's interior features elaborately decorated wooden columns. The church contains many examples of Christian iconography, and it is believed that the same king donated all the churches in Lalabella. King Lalabella built the town's churches during the 12th century. 7. The Moai Statues of Easter Island The ancient civilization that lived on the most isolated island in the world, Easter Island, built an entire culture on top of an extinct volcano. The Moai statues are thought to be manifestations of their gods, and the locals believe that to live a prosperous life, the figures must be appeased by building more and more statues. Also called the Easter Island Heads, the Moai statues are characterized by their large bodies and headdresses, constructed from volcanic rock. Easter Islanders are believed to have been the first settlers in the Pacific, taking this wayfinding skill with them on their voyages. These voyages took them as far as Hawaii and even Chile. Polynesia. But unfortunately for Easter Island, when Europeans first discovered it in 1722, it was completely uninhabited. 8. Stone Stairs of Costa Rica You can find hundreds of largely and perfectly round stone stairs deep in the jungles of Costa Rica. Some of these rocks are as big as cars, while others weigh over 20 tons, and they were all carried to this location by humans using nothing but their bare hands. They were sculptured by hammering boulders into a simple spherical shape using denser rocks and were then finished by polishing the stone surface using sand, shells, and coral. No one is sure what the purpose of these stone spheres was or who created them, but they may represent some calendar or social status. 9. Napa Hawaka in Peru the Nap Haraka tribe in the Peruvian Amazon basin has a long tradition of stonework, but their most famous work of art are their megalithic sculptures. The tribal elders claim that they were taught to build these statues by aliens, who also gave them the technology and knowledge they still use today. The purpose of the blue stone sculpture is unclear, but the tribe does claim that it was designed as an antenna for communicating with aliens. The tribal elders say that they have been in regular contact with aliens since the time of their ancestors and believe that if their culture is destroyed, the knowledge of their ancestors will be lost forever. A false door is carved in the rear of the sculpture to look like a portal to the alien world. 10. Temple of the Crystal Skulls once home to the powerful pre-Columbian civilization, the Temple of the Crystal Skulls is a temple about 1,200 years old. The inside of the building contains many artifacts, including over 10,000 skulls carved from crystal, which turn out to be quartz. The Mayan culture that inhabited this area had a tradition of using quartz to make their most important items, including jewelry and weapons. It's also possible that they use their skulls in their traditional bloodletting rituals or as a dedication offering to their gods. In the 1940s, explorer Cyrus Teed was the first person to discover the temple. He found it during a mission to locate remnants of an ancient civilization that he had hoped would help him prove that Atlantis existed. Unfortunately for Teed, his expedition failed to find any evidence of Atlantis. He died in 1952, under mysterious circumstances where only one survivor claimed he had seen a UFO and heard voices from it. 11. 
the Koso Artifact. The small island of Koso lies in the middle of the Lake Titicaca and is located between Bolivia and Peru. Many ancient ruins are located in the region, including an ancient fortress called Huna, a number of sacred lakes and underground tunnels. In 1961, Virginia Maxey and Wallace Lane wandered close to the Koso Mountains and discovered the Koso artifact, which consists of a 1920 spark plug inside an iron oxide shell that is half a million years old. What's even more interesting is that the shell is that the cell is a concretion, a type of rock that forms when mineral-rich water drips from the ceiling of a cave and then hardens. This discovery was one of the first to help scientists understand how concretions were created, and the artifact remains a mystery today. 12. The Baghdad Battery The Baghdad Battery is a clay pot with a copper cylinder that contains an iron rod. It is believed that the device was used by the Greeks and Romans to store electricity in India and Iraq. There are many stories about this battery, but it's unknown who invented it. In 1980, the British scientist Dick Russell discovered that when this battery was placed in a magnetic field, it caused the iron rod inside to glow. This discovery has put scientists on an exciting path to understanding how this ancient technology worked. This ancient technology was also helpful in building the Baghdad Railway, a 3,000-kilometer railway built to connect the Mesopotamian city of Basra to Mosul in Iraq. It was the first railway built and operated by the British Empire. The railway went over 200 miles and connected the two cities using a track gauge of 9.5 inches. The British ultimately destroyed the railway in World War I, but it has been said that the railway bed formed a straight line for 70 miles and that the British used this line as an artillery target practice. 13. Saksayuman Saksayuman is a massive walled complex in Cusco, Peru, and although the Incas built it, no one knows its purpose. It is a citadel on the northern outskirts of the city of Cusco. It is composed of three areas, the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Moon, and the Palace of the Pakuchek. Above, it looks like a trapezoid with two walls that join at right angles. The walls are over 100 feet tall and up to 60 feet thick. The structure was built using soil known as yatana, composed of millions of stone blocks. It is hard to believe that no one has discovered what this place was used for since it's one of Cusco's most significant and mysterious constructions, but nothing has been learned about it. The only clue is that it was used for religious ceremonies. Therefore, one could assume it's a sanctuary, church, or temple. The local people believe that the temple was used to worship the sun and the moon, which makes sense since it's near the midday sun. No one knows what would have been within the Temple of Pachacutec, but some have suggested that he may have stayed there. In any case, this place remains a mystery to this day. 14. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were one of the most famous ancient gardens in history. They were built by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II, and it is believed that they existed from 600 to 300 BC, although they might have been destroyed in an earthquake. The gardens were huge, with a circumference of 230 feet, and the gardens were designed to mimic a desert. They may have been built to trick one of Nebuchadnezzar's enemies into believing that he had defeated them. The gardens were said to be on top of the city walls in eastern Babylon, and they were made out of stone and bricks. These gardens were said to be so beautiful that they rivaled even the gardens of Eden. But since no description of them has ever been found, it's tough to say whether this is true. The hanging gardens were situated on what is now called the Royal Hill in Baghdad. They were built between 535 and 497 BC, but it is unknown if they fell victim to an earthquake or if they ever even existed. A Babylonian document about the Hanging Gardens is in existence and describes the gardens, but the document is an official record, not history. Because of this, there are many different interpretations of what the gardens were used for. Some believe they were used to grow produce, while others think they were used as a defensive fortification in which an army could hide during a siege. 15. Wall of the Sun and Wall of the Moon the remains of the Wall of the Sun are located in northern Chile and are part of the ancient Inca road that ran from Cusco up to Puna. This road was built around 1000 AD and comprises approximately 2,600 miles of paving stones. The rocks used in making this road are so well preserved that they could be used to pave roads today. In 1738, a British army set out on an expedition to find the rumored fabled riches of the Incas and they discovered this ancient road. They also found many pyramids with signs of the Quichua language, indicating that they were built for worship. 
This discovery was so important to the ancient Peruvian people that it was used as a basis for Emperor Pedro I to invade Spanish aided by British ships. The Inca built the road using silver as a support layer and covered the stones in vegetation and mud. This created a solid mortar, allowing them to create bridges between natural land formations, making them completely invisible from aerial view. To date, it is hard to explain how the ancient Incas were able to combine the stones and make them fit so perfectly together. When no metal tools were available and the Incas did not know how to build a proper arch, it's hard to believe they could make something like this road. 16. The Great Pyramid of Giza the Great Pyramid of Giza was the tallest building in the world for over 3,000 years, and the ancient Egyptians built it around 4,500 years ago. It consists of over 2.7 million blocks of stone, and it's believed that it was built to serve as the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu. It is also thought that this structure was modeled after three pyramid temples built in Egypt at the time and are now destroyed. It's also believed that the construction of this pyramid took 20 years to complete, and despite numerous attempts, no one has ever been able to find out how they could do it so quickly without modern tools. It is said that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built by a civilization that was not very advanced, so this is something that we have yet to understand. Some of the most exciting discoveries about this pyramid are, first, there are no tunnels or shafts connecting it with the outside world. Also, there is no evidence of any ventilation opening and it is believed that air would have been a problem in such a place where millions of people worked and lived. Another exciting thing is that it is thought that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built on a gigantic scale, using only the techniques and knowledge at their disposal. There is no way that they could have achieved this without going beyond the limits of their abilities, so who were these people to be able to do this? 17. Gopakal Rock Cut Jain Statue in India the Gopachal Rock Cut Jain Statue is located in Madhya Pradesh, India, and was carved about 1,000 years ago. The statue is made of sandstone and depicts a Jain deity known as Makaraveli, the daughter of God. The sculpture was built using a wooden pedestal, which has since been removed but is still very impressive in size. Gopachal Rock Cut Jain Statue was carved and constructed in the Brahmi style of architecture, which was also one of the most basic styles of architecture in ancient India. The statue is so well made that it often resembles a man but sometimes looks like a woman, and the people of India call this deity Makaraveli or Tara Devi. Since this statue was carved out of sandstone and not wood, it is very strong but delicate because it might break if someone bumps into it. Although many people have tried to remove this sculpture from the ground to preserve it, they haven't had much luck. 18. The Hanging Monastery the Hanging Monastery is located near Kabul, Afghanistan, and was built during the 5th century. This monastery has remained intact despite numerous wars, earthquakes, and invasions. It's believed this place was once home to around 100 monks, but it was abandoned at some point during the 11th century. It is called the Hanging Monastery because it is located on the side of a cliff face in a remote part of Afghanistan. The monastery's site is about 200 feet above a river canyon, and there is only one way up or down. It is also said that the monks who inhabited this space were so dedicated to their religion that they would never look at a woman or even see their shadow. During the 14th century, this site was occupied by Hassan Jerish and his followers, who built a new monastery on top of the old one. Later, during the 17th century, this monastery was occupied by the Afridi tribe members fighting their way across Central Asia. 19. The Pyramid of Dozier the Pyramid of Dozier is located in Saqqara, Egypt, and is considered one of the oldest stone structures on Earth. It was built around 2700 years ago during the 27th century BC, during the reign of King Dozier. This pyramid was constructed using limestone blocks, while the Pharaoh's Sphinx, located nearby, was built using granite. This structure is also part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Ankh and Cobra that are carved into the capstone of this pyramid are present as a religious symbol and a symbol of resurrection. The interior of this pyramid was then filled with rubble and stones so that the king would have a place to be buried after he died. Although the body of King Doja was never found, it is believed that the sarcophagus in this pyramid contains his remains. The Grotto of St. Peter is also a popular place for Catholics to perform an act of piety known as scapulas. Scapulars are small discs attached to chains worn around the neck and need to be obtained from the church for the person to perform this act of piety. These scapulars take the form of a body when its head is pointing downwards, and it is believed that St. Peter is looking towards heaven. 20. The Phoenician Ship of Salt 
The Phoenicians were a Semitic people who lived in the Middle East that were known for their trade with other countries, including Rome, Egypt, and Greece. The Phoenician ship of salt is located in Elat, Israel, and is currently on display at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. This ship was used in the ancient city that is known as Elat. It's made out of salt rocks and is approximately 45 feet long. The ship was built another 3,000 years ago and was constructed by the Phoenicians, meaning it's one of the oldest artificial objects ever discovered on Earth. It's believed that this ship is also a burial site for some of the Phoenician people, and it was found during an excavation in 1988. The Phoenician Ship of Salt was discovered in 1988 along with 100 other Phoenician artifacts found at this site. The ship is so old that it's believed that the Phoenicians must have been able to get salt from another part of the world because they didn't have any way to make enough salt themselves. Themselves. Many other places are being added and updated every year, but these were a few of the top choices for ancient artificial structures. It's important to remember that it wasn't always easy to do what they did back then, and many people had to work hard and dedicate their lives to building these structures. The world has come so far since those times, and we've advanced in technology enough that we could probably create some of these things today if given the chance. There's nothing to say that we can't, except that back then, people didn't know how. And that was part of their culture.